Let's start by understanding the Express Server setup for our Next.js app. We begin by requiring the Express and Next modules. Then, we set the port for our server, defaulting to 3000 if not specified by the environment variable port. The dev constant is a boolean that checks if the node underscore env environment variable is set to production or not. With these in place, we initiate a next app instance, preparing it for either development or production based on the dev constant. The app's request handler function is then captured, which we will use to handle all incoming requests. The server is started after the app prepare promise is resolved setting up the server to listen on our specified port and handling all routes using Next.js request handler. Next, we are looking at the Docker file crucial for creating our container. We start from a lightweight node JS16 Alpine image. Setting the working directory within our container to USR SRC app provides a default location for our application files. We then copy the package JSON and, if available, package lock JSON files into our working directory. The npm install command follows, installing all necessary dependencies as specified in our package JSON file. After that, we copy all our application files into the container. We conclude this setup by running npm run build which creates an optimized production build of our next JS app. The cmd instruction, finally, declares the default command to execute when the container starts which is npm start to serve the production build. In our docker compose yml file, we define a single service named next.js app. We give our container a specific name, next.js container, for easier reference. The build context is set to the current directory, where the docker file is located. We map the host's port 3000 to the container's port 3000, to make our app accessible from outside the container. Lastly, we define an environment variable within the container, setting node underscore env to production. This means that when the container is running, our next JS app will be operating in production mode, which is optimized for performance and stability.